Soy Kika, tengo papitos. Así suena, sí. The Smart Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Rated and today we are going to read MRT stations in Singapore. Hey Menden, how come you look so different today? Hey, because I'm just ah. not wearing black. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't ah. recognize you for because, ah. yes. because you're not wearing black. That's why. I have come to what's the word? Realize that the table is very small. <laughs> how often do you guys take the MRT? Uh, oh, I take oh, the MRT about at least once a month. You gotta be kidding me. No, I take the MRT almost every day. I take the MRT three days a week, lah. About three. So at least about six times a week, lah. There about so. Ian. Ah yes, I take it every day. Oh, I'm more of a bus person. Most of the time, at in the bus, you get seats. Now I like the long journey, longer journey back. So do you do anything productive with this longer journey? Yeah, I think about how I should have taken the MRT. <laughs> One of the things I think about. I think a lot of Singaporeans take it for granted, lah. It's really up there, yeah, like cleanliness. Even the space of the train, like how big the train is to accommodate the people. But the one thing I don't like recently is they remove quite a number of seats. There's more standing cabins oh, for the newer trains. I think. Yeah. Right, right. Then sometimes like, the train is empty. Eh. But then because there's very little seats, I still have to stand up. Yeah. Buses would never remove their seats. They have. No, so they have. <laughs> I think I've seen. You know how like different companies run different MRT stations. So like you. Really? Yeah, so there's a reason why, you know, at Newton, you want to change line, you have to tap out and tap in because they are run by different companies. Basically, all, all of the newer lines and the older lines. I realize I hate seeing, sitting in the center. I have to keep <laughs> turning my head, yeah. Name some of your favorite MRT. Oh, I would want to say stadium is not bad. You know, every time you come out of the stadium MRT, then you take the long escalator ride up, and it's very, like, inspiring. <laughs> You're quite good before. Yeah, yeah, but like, what's so nice about MRT? <laughs> I think Dobi, Dobi got a few lines, right? I think yeah, red line, yeah. circle line, and also the purple line. Yeah. So like it's an uh, adventure by itself. The whole maze, bro. Yeah, it's a uh, time to take the paper. Office. Oh sorry, opposite. <laughs> Uchram Park. Uchram. Yeah. My only opinion about Uchram Park is why so Why not two park? Uchram Park and Farrer Park, and then there's Farrer Road and Farrer Park MRT. It is a very well positioned interchange. The interchange there at like the peak period is quite crazy. Oh yeah. Yeah, because yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of people go between purple line and green line. It is quite bad looking. But I know for, for a long time Ultram was like under construction. Oh yeah. And yeah, if yeah. you walk out also it just looks like like very empty, like no style. The hospital killing the vibes. Because of that I personally I'll give it a D. Okay, la, see la, see because apparently very accessible. Many lines, but Ian says it's bad looking. So because of that, C is. Yes. I would say B, if not for like the crowd. Is it not oh, that no. because they're sick and they need help? <laughs> to me, it's because like they're uh, very crowded. Uh. I would give it a B too, based on like the horrible aesthetics. It's on a green line, right? And it's a very old station. So like, you know when you enter like a really old, slimy, you don't feel very comfortable. Like, the icon not working kind of MRT station. Accurate, accurate. I'm starting to like you again. Next station. Orchard. Orchard, busy as nugget. Every time you it's go, it's crowded. It's crowded is one thing, but it's a very small underground MRT station. And then you can't really find the escalators, right? You always have to take the stairs. For some reason, it's just you. But the under escalators are like at the end of the thing. You know, if you're in the center, so you know where it is, la. but you are never at the end, you know. Unless you are the kind that go to the end and find a seat. Possible. 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 You can I just walk to the escalator, man? I'm gonna read watch it damn highly. Because it's fully underground, right? And the rain don't you worry about, sun don't you worry about. It links you to so many places. Like, wow, basically the whole orchard area is combined because of its MRT. The crowd is so like it's hype, but like people going to town, that kind of thing, compared to your you don't like all the people, sick people, right? Yeah. Some people like... not sick, they're going out. <laughs> I just hate crowded places. Uh. And once the MRT station I know is more or less very crowded, almost immediately gets a lower rating for me. Yeah. I'll give it a B, is because it just doesn't connect to anywhere. It's very hard to travel to if you don't live on the red line. Initially, I wanted to give a B, but then because Ian said that, I'll give it a C. How you give the same rating? Straight. Next station, Serangoon. Serangoon. <laughs> very bad. The crowd is that bad. Mm. Okay, but having access to Circle Line and Purple Line is very good. Mm. Okay. I think that's why it's very crowded. <laughs> the only bad things that uh, I think about Serangoon is it's really a piece of shit. This is such a good mall! It's a good MRT with good facilities. Uh, I quite like the long travel later. Very fun. Uh. I like to be on a travel later. When I'm on a travel later, I see people in the middle walking, especially at next, because it's the path yeah. is damn long. I don't know what's in their heads. Do you walk on the travel later? Mm. 
I chill on the Chevrolet. But it's like a speed boost, you know, like Mario Kart. Really. It depends. If I see the train I need to catch is coming soon, uh, then I will run on the Chevrolet. <laughs> but I will walk lah if I need to pick up the pace. But if not, I like just to like just to, uh, stand and like, lean against the thing. Just, you know, when you hear people coming in. Like, <laughs> Honestly, Serangoon, the ambience is very functional. It's just an MRT. There's nothing that adds to the vibes. Really? If the ambience was better, I would give it an S. But to me now, it stands like, like The MRT itself is not super crowded. Even though it, it might get crowded, like, but there's an illusion of like, it's not so crowded because the spaces are very wide. Hey, Rangoon, what do you say? Oh, A as well. What price we have coming down? Next station, Bayfront. Ooh. Bayfront. So Bayfront is a place that has vibes. Mm. Right. Got vibes. It's like, definitely got vibes. Uh. Yes, yeah. The decor and like, the mirrors yeah. add a nice touch to it. It links mm. to many different places. Like, one exit is like Gardens by the Bay, right? Yeah. Uh, then another one, one is the shoppers. mall itself. Mm. Shoppers, shoppies. And then Shoppers. 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 Uh, okay. And it's one of the newer MRT stations. Uh. Yeah. Relatively newer yeah, ones. Uh. So that's why I think in terms of the design and like the accessibility, they probably develop better processes based on previous experiences. But very crowded. Nothing... Bayfront crowded. Uh. Not super crowded. Mm -hmm. right? yeah, no. Not super crowded. Or oh, whenever I go, them crowded. When I go, it's like the Grand Square Bay or some like exhibition or some flower display. Or something. Oh, then, yeah, yeah they're crowded. Mm -hmm. Bayfront's only. Mm -hmm. Is it only yellow? Eh, no. Blue. No, blue. blue. Downtown and Circle. Where, where do you come up on the yellow line? So, this is smart design. Mm. Circle line is one level, downtown is another level. So, you just have to simply take the escalator down. Ah, yeah. And you are there. So, the escalators that are completely go, like... confused, the signboard is right above it. It will tell you which one goes down to where. One side is downtown, then another side is circle line. Go down the next floor, then it's another direction of the downtown and the other direction of circle line. Oh, oh that's oh, that that confusing. <laughs> if front more like boo front. Not intuitive. Yeah, you already have two levels. You just dedicate one level for one line la, compared to like a mix. Yeah. And take back yeah, and yeah, take it back design after some time. I don't care about flower, I don't care about casino, I don't care about shoppers. Uh, I vote C. C. No, no, B, uh, B, C and one third. Kaki Yo. Bukit. Okay, come. Kaki Bukit Kia. What's yeah. so good about Kaki Bukit? Other than the fact that I live there, my mm. points. <laughs> I will try my best to defend my hometown. There are many coffee shops there. There's an industrial area that hosts many businesses. With, without industrial areas, you, you know, the people can't hold their businesses. <laughs> okay, fine, la, there's really nothing much there. La. Since it's a new line, downtown line, it's quite clean, relatively. So, you know, we can go up the escalator, right? Got light. Got light? I, it's not just like sunlight or what. There's literally like this circle, like it looks like this. You feel like, you know, you're on set. Mm. Is not too good? <laughs> <laughs> I have to defend S. It's my hometown, literally without it. Okay, fine, realistic a bit like A lah. It doesn't even like, it doesn't have anything else. It's just downtown line. Maximum C, man, maximum C. But thankfully it doesn't have too many negatives, so like we can't put it in D. This is my bias. Kaki Bukit. Faster is. Oh, I hate Pasir Ris. The Pasir Ris there, I think actually quite nice. Like, it's quite old school design, but it's quite nostalgic. Yeah, in yeah. a positive way. But, and this is a huge but, mm. every time I need to... Nugget. Book in. To nugget. Kong, to go to... Nugget. Pasir Ris. <laughs> and nugget. My sense. I never want to book in again. You must understand, right? Pasir Ris is like a town on its own. Even though it's like all the way at the end, right? It's like going traveling. Because your memories associated to it is like really damn shit. That's why you like... We really don't like. But yeah. for me, right, like whenever I go there, it's like to go to fun places like chalets or wow wow where, you know. I rarely am there, but when I'm there, like I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I'll give it B. I'll give it a B. It's a solid B. 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 Oh, C. Yeah. <laughs> but I give. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But I give a Z. Okay, okay, together with Uchum, okay. Okay, next station. Riddle. Not the riddle. When design any mati, once ever a door open on one side, yeah, stick it to one side. No, one time I was like much younger la. I was leaning against the door. Then of course, I think that time they didn't have the like this thing open this side. No? So I just yeah, forgot. Yeah. Wow, I was leaning against it. No, last time no warning. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I was like, I felt it now like wow, no. oh, I see, bro. <laughs> and there's nothing much at the station now. It's quite like uglyly designed. It's very old la. It's quite interesting. So like Topayo, like they designed the station to be like yellow, oh. and then like Newton, they designed to be like green. Newton is red, something like that. Each station has a color. Like. It's so that uh, for the elderly people, they see like the outside, right? They know where to get off. There's nothing much around there, so. Ice cream. And no bus interchange. Yeah, I think man. easy D at this D. one. Bread, oh. more like gravel. <laughs> <laughs> Chinatown. Chinatown got the vibes, uh. 
So in terms of accessibility to other parts of Singapore, I think based quite highly. Uh, any MRT exit that leads to like such a site like Chinatown, Kampung Glam or Little India, I think you'll be quite amazed at like the cultural aspects and the mm. design and everything. So that, that's definitely a plus point. Navigating around the station is quite troublesome. Let's say you're transferring purple to downtown line, right? There's a link way between the purple and blue. But you must take this one escalator. You cannot take any escalator up to it. If not, you have to come back down again and go back to the next escalator. But I think race quite highly. And some more like the stuff that is around there as well. Wow. The hospital centre there is so good. The best mala is probably around there. How would you rate it? Really quite highly. I think already an A. Solid A. A. Wow, for the first time we are unanimous. Next station is Pongol. I hate Pongol so much. Firstly, it's all the way at the end. So it's already an inconvenient place. Secondly, it has a stupid LRT there. Any LRT, you deserve to get an F. I swear, yeah. right, out of every person that has taken the LRT, at least 70% of them have taken the wrong direction once. <laughs> Four directions on two platforms. Pongo, is it Waterway Park? Eh, yeah, water waterway, point. Yeah, yeah. It's linked to Waterway Point. Ah, oh, Waterway Point. Yeah, yeah. It's a very good mall. Yeah. There's a lot of things but like the cinema there, there's a lot of food. To get to Pongo is really it is, like, like, I will give B. it a Bongo B. 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 What? Why? It's a pretty good mall. It only has the purple line. Come on, downgrade. Got Coney Island also. Okay, la, see, la, see. Bang. Hey, I'm patient now. I'm done. I'm done. Anyone want to take or I just take? I just take, save time. Stadium! Oh. Stadium! The stadium supporter to come start stadium. your stadium. Got light. It's a very nice experience going in and out of the stadium. That's what I think about stadium is that even though it's a very long escalator, right, it's only one long escalator. Correct. It, it is the most straightforward MRT. More like Sladium. <laughs> There's Kalang Wave Mall there, where all your concerts are. There's an indoor stadium also. Yeah, they're outside the stadium. Mm. Like, wow, got all the power connector. Yeah. yeah. It is generally a nice MRT. Mm. But no bus to interchange. <laughs> Ooh, minus, minus. Fair enough. Even the nearest bus stop is far away. B sounds about right. B la B. No interchange. If there were interchanges, it would be an A. Yeah. Okay, next up, we have Jurong East. Hmm. Your red line, green line, both very good lines. Very Although big plus point for having three malls. Two malls now that JQ is, is gone, losing. right? It's uh. gone. To be fair, like Jurong itself, or like Jurong East itself, is like the town for the West. It is, pretty much. See, there are malls then good. Like, I remember liking Jam. It's a solid mall. If you stay around like Clementi or Buena Vista, until like maybe like Chua Chukang, yeah. you still will go down to Jurong. There's Ikea there also. The first Ikea out of Tampines. MRT-wise, yeah, it's one of the OGs, I would say. But pay some respect to that. And it's huge. So even though there are a lot of people, right, it's not like dense. Mm. It's not crowded. It's only downside is that it's in the west. A la, A, A, solid A, yeah, solid A. Yeah, solid A yeah. So if it was on the same uh, locations as uh, Chinatown or Zwingun, straight away as Alright, bump up. Yeah. Next, City Hall. Just now we are talking about like different platform within the same floor, right? Mm. Like we say it's a bad thing. They design like the one floor got both red line and green line, right? Ah, uh, yes, yes. But they make it so that it's convenient for you. Mm. Not confusing. So it, it's a negative that they made into a plus point. The only exception for mm. this kind of thing. Yeah. Because they know that everyone that's going to City Hall, if they come from Pasiris, you will change at City Hall to go to Jurong. And the malls are also, I, I would say very good. The Funan Mall also. Yeah. And it helps that now Funan has like a very nice underground Yeah, yeah. Now they link the underground quite a lot also. Mm. I like the buses. Yeah. I rather I like the... <laughs> No, I like the bus stops that are at like, City Hall MRT. Like, it really goes to a lot of different places. So actually, wow, I already got highly like. Does it deserve an S though? Hmm. No bus in the change though. Oh, Bagogu bus. Bagogu <laughs> bus is, is an S for me. Yeah, I think this one deserves S? an S. No, S, eh? S for City Hall. Congratulations. Next station. Sorry, the train break now. <laughs> Bishan. B for Bishan. B for Bishan. Mm. Quite central, red line, circle line. So mm. connectivity very good. Uh, the more junction it above, very okay. Not too bad. It deserves an upgrade lah. But and during nice. peak hours to get to the circle line is them high. Because yeah, there's yeah. only that one. Ah, that one small escalator, right? Wait, wait, wait. There's no travelator to circle line, right? No travelator. No, no travelator. Oh, right. Just one long corridor. Minus point. Uh, it's both good and bad. Both. Uh, so I would say Bishan more like mid Chan. I give it a B. Okay lah. Compare. Ah, I need a cushion. Okay, go be got. Dobi Gold. Dobi Gold. Many goods but many bads. It has three lines, which is very good. Purple, red, circle. Very good. A bit far from each other, but got travelator. 
so many different exits. So that the MRT like links you to quite a few different places. Oh, you can come out the good good contender for an S. Yeah, actually, what's what's bad about it? I get it's confusing when you want to go from purple line to red line. Because there are like four escalators, but they all go to the same place. Right? S. S. So we got. <laughs> so big. <big-o. laughs> Sengkang. Oh, another one for LRT. Another one. Sengkang is definitely better than Pongo. Sengkang is just very vertical. So you just, if you want to go anywhere, just take the escalator down. You go end up at the exit. Another escalator down, you go to the MRT. Mall campus one, quite mm. an old mall. Not much, mm. not much. To yeah, there. nothing much. This is the basics, lah. Yeah. B. I'll give it a B. B. It's, it's a solid B for me. Give it a D. Is it as good as Pasir Ris though? Yeah. It's worse. Tuas Ling. Is it a checkpoint? It's not an MRT. Man. Oh, this it looks like Expo. Oh, wow, oh, it looks cool. Oh. cool. It looks like inside the Esplanade. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice. For a long time, people couldn't get there. But then now, like this like bit of MRT stations allow people to even get to those Jurong West parts. There's nothing around there, right? No malls or anything. Like industrial there. areas. Yeah. Like Purely like industrial Companies area. and that kind of thing. La. Yeah, so I, I would say it ranks slightly better than like Kaki Bukit. So, you know, the Tuas one like, is a recent addition. So now you can go C, C, C. Okay. C, 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 C. Right. Yep. Sure. Ah, ah, ah. Canberra? Yeah, this is the nearest MRT to my place. So, firstly, I stay here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. everyone will be complaining. Why is it no more damn long? I'm in the middle, like, want to pee. Right? <laughs> Cannot, right? What <laughs> with? <laughs> You can better. You can. The next thing is the architecture of Canberra. It's not air condition, but there's like a lot of very big fans. It's not covered. Yeah, yeah, the architecture right. very nice. And then there's a bus stop right in front of the exit of the MRT. It's connected to the mall. So you don't even have to go down and tap out and go back up to the Obey Beach or cross the road to the mall. The platforms though. You want to change side, you know, must go down and come back up again. And it's quite a walk. I did complain about that earlier. It happened to me. And pins. Uh, like receiving yeah. receiving how do you say for what? Tempines. 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 There's actually a lot of malls around there. It's, it's like a mini Jurong. There are yes. three malls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all three malls are pretty good malls. Especially now Century Square has newly renovated. Yeah, even though it's like quite far in the east, right? It's quite good. It's pretty convenient. Yeah, it's very fast to get to the central areas. I think plus points, just because it's a name that you can make fun of. Uh, the separation is like, much so like, it's like a bit plain cheap eh, to say that they're in one station. You 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 feel quite like betrayed, like, oh shit, I have to walk so far just to change like. That place has really, it, it has too many things for you to do. It's just the one thing that you have to walk for five minutes to change train. Other than that, it's a fantastic place to Tampines, like, let's say you're in the same station, right? It could be like S category. But like, now I'll give you a B just because like, what it promised to deliver, it doesn't. Agreeable? Agreeable. 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 Ah. ah. <laughs> What's there, Wule? Cheryl's house. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that. So, stuff that yes, at Wule, it's only on purple line, so that's not very good. But the stuff at Wule got park. There's a new park. Uh, technically, there was an old park, but they tear down the park to make a new park. Is it called Woodley Park? Yes. <laughs> How do you know? There's a mall above. Uh, Woodley Mall. <laughs> do your mind with your <laughs> It also has a condo above. Woodley Residences. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> At the MRT outside, they're ugly. Really damn bad. Like, it looks very old. Because actually, Woodley is a very old MRT that people recently started using. It was so unused that they closed it down for a while. Changi Airport. Oh, you have now arrived in Singapore. I didn't even know there was a Changi Airport MRT. The That's MRT itself is also very big. A lot of space for you. It's right? super long. And like both sides goes to both different terminals, right? Yeah. T1 and T3. Everyone got Travelito. Oh, yeah. uh, Travelito. She got the whole thing, bro. Hey guys, yeah. you know what to say. No more, you just no matter what the empty station looks like, it's just a, a feeling that you get when you travel to Changi. Mm. It's always a very nice feeling when you take that long escalator up to T3 from the MRT. It's very nice, then got the, the natural light. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, to go to Jewel even. The bridge. There are like what? Six travelators there or something. I would think it's the most well maintained. Yeah, I think out of, out of all the MRT stations in Singapore, right? Changi Airport MRT, I think it would be the, like, the best maintained, best clean, best like... It's like the oldest, right? Pretty much like the same age as like City Hall kind. I don't know. Yeah, because you always could travel to Changi Airport. But it's always so clean. What do you mean? Not by bus only uh, last time. I don't know. Like. I don't know. Maybe you're older than me. Uh. Then, <laughs> then last time have lah. No big, no small are you? That's for me. We'll give it yes. a I will do it. Change the last one is.
Thank you for watching this episode of Rated. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and ring the notification bell down below. You can also watch our other videos over there. If you want us to rate other things like uh, Kaki Bukit Children Drawings, uh, Hospitals, Travelators, uh, Bus Interchanges, let us know in the comments down below. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Bye.